The Carolina Panthers roster has several new faces, but only two of them have ties to the triad. WFM News 2's Jalen Gilkey went to Bank of America Stadium to catch up with the two players who honed their skills at North Carolina A&T. Well, to my fellow Aggie family, you may not know the name Ricky Lee III, but you should. He's a graduate from North Carolina A&T who also happens to play left tackle for the Carolina Panthers. But he's not the only Aggie with the Panthers at the moment because the MEAC's all-time rushing leader, Tariq Cohen, is now on the practice squad just waiting for an opportunity to show the world that he still is one of the best to ever do it. Man, it's been a grind, man. It's, it's got to the point where I don't even think about it now. I just get up and go. Um, yeah, it's definitely been a journey, um, just taking it day by day. You know, so that's something I always live by, uh, taking it day by day, trying not to get overwhelmed, you know, by, by anything. But. For Ricky Lee III, his journey to the NFL has been filled with ups and downs and even uncertainty at times, but he's grateful for it all. Uh, I feel like I belong, man. I feel like I was supposed to be here. Uh, I've been playing it for so long, you know, as a kid. And then, you know, being in that moment, that's, that's stuff you dream of. And uh, I wasn't nervous or anything, had no anxiety, which is like, this is where I'm supposed to be at, man. It felt like home. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm blessed to be here. I'm happy to be here. Lee, an undrafted free agent, sees most of his action on special teams at the moment, but he knows his time is coming soon. There are only 20 players currently in the NFL who come from historically black colleges or universities, and Carolina now has three. Ricky Lee III, Claudine Sherilis, and 2018 NFL All-Pro Tariq Cohen. I'm living right now. Uh, you know, I feel like I'm a pretty smart player, so I can, you know, adapt and adjust. And uh, I feel, really feel like it's mostly about getting into shape, you know, getting that football shape back in, back into me, dropping a couple more pounds, just get that, all that speed back. So, you know, just feeling real confident about where I'll be in the next couple weeks. Cohen, who has been out of the league since 2020 due to complications from multiple injuries, is now a part of the Panthers practice squad and ready to make a difference when his name is called. Plus, he might just have a fellow Aggie up front blocking for him when his time comes. Oh, it's lit. It's lit, man. You know, he blocks I. Uh, you know, they made it up at a so it's good to hear him yelling it at practice. Uh, made me feel like I'm back home. The Aggie family is, is one of the things that shook me back. That's why I moved so close to, you know, Greensboro. I stay in High Point now, and uh, I feel like that's one of the main things that shook me back. No matter how this stop in Charlotte ends for Cohen or Lee, they're thankful for the endless love and support they've gotten from the Aggie family along the way. Uh, I appreciate everybody who you know, put a prayer up for me. Uh, I definitely think that contributed to my, you know, shaking back and uh, the success I would have going forward. Uh, I just want to say I appreciate y'all. Appreciate y'all. Appreciate the support and everything. And Aggie Pride, man. And as of right now, Cohen will not be active against the Vikings, but Ricky Lee the third is listed as the second string left tackle. So make sure you look out for big number six to one. Gosh, how exciting though for them. The Tariq was the man. Mm -hmm. Un. Uh, unbelievable. unbelievable. My favorite part uh, when he was when he played uh, for North Carolina A&T, just the backflips he would always do. <laughs> yes. No, I mean like such like a showman, Character. you know, and mm -hmm. so good, and he could back it up too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So Tariq and I are actually the same age. We were in school together the whole time I was there. Wow. And I mean, literally the first time I saw him play football, I was like, oh, I would never miss another game. Mm -hmm. It was unbelievable to see you know the things that he was able to do and the things he's been over able to overcome now to get back to this point in his mm -hmm. career. And then we are just so proud of young Ricky as well. You you know, Tariq was fortunate enough to be drafted. Young Ricky, he had to be undrafted, go through mini camp, yeah. training camp, Hard road. survive several different types of cuts and watching guys leave the locker room. And he was finally one of the last men standing in the 53. So mm -hmm. just so proud and happy for him as well. Did Tariq go to the Bears originally? Yeah, he was with That's the Bears originally. Yeah, he was a 2018 That's uh, right. all pro punt returner, wow. first team, two time pro bowler. I mean, one of the he was one of the best with the football in his hands when yeah. he was healthy, when he was playing those first three years. Mm. And, you know, unfortunately, injury kind of struck him. Yeah. Had some personal issues as well, but he looks to be all the way back, and I can't wait till they activate yeah. him. Yeah. Panthers need some lightning. Our uh -huh. videographers used to say, just, just follow Tariq. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you got to do the game. That's just where the ball's going. Right there. That's right.